Hey guys, it's Tristan from Victorus Games. Today I want to share with you an example game that I made to demonstrate a multi-touch interface that includes a floating joystick and two additional buttons. You can test this example game right now by visiting victorusgames.h.io while using a touchscreen device. I also published the source files there so you can see how I built it and perhaps use it in your own games. Uh, before I start, I wanted to say thank you to Wish Forge Games and Stoic Quorum who provided tutorials and examples that helped me get this working. To begin with, let's look at the uh, some help information I made to understand how this interface works. The left side is dedicated to movement using a floating joystick, and the right side is split into two buttons that are each set up with a different function. I'll get into those buttons in a minute, but first let's look at the floating joystick. The joystick, which could also be called a thumb stick, is what controls the direction and the speed of your character. So simply touching anywhere on the screen, the floating joystick will move to where your touch started. And while pressing down, you can slide your finger in any direction to make the ship go in that direction. And the farther you move from the center of the joystick, uh, the more speed your ship will have. And if you uh, swipe outside of this area, the joystick will follow your touch. That's why I call it a floating interface. And so the benefit of doing this is that it makes it really easy to reverse directions. So if you accidentally swipe down too far, it doesn't take very far to reverse. And so that's that's the benefit of doing that floating. Let's look at these buttons. The Each button takes a quadrant of the screen. So the top right is the big gun that will shoot one time every time you press it. And the bottom right is kind of a fast gun that will shoot as long as you're pressing down. Uh, let's start with the fast gun. So if you push anywhere if you start a touch anywhere in the in this quadrant, kind of like this, it will uh, keep shooting. And so that's really easy to use. Uh, different, the top right button is a little different in that it gives you one shot per press. So to shoot multiple times, you have to tap, release, tap, release, tap, release. And you could put a timer on here. I actually don't have a timer, so you could touch really fast and kind of simulate a fast gun, but it's, you could also use it with a timer to slow that down. Um, but this is kind of just how these work. You can, I mean, all these interfaces, all of these buttons are floating, so you can just kind of move them out, out of the way. If you like have a, something you wanted to shoot over here and you want to look at it, you can move the button out of the way. Or just whatever is more comfortable for your fingers. Like every user is going to have different size hands. So it's nice to be able to just get in the general vicinity and you don't have to worry about making a interface that fits a particular user's hands. So this is this feels really good to me. I think it's pretty easy to use and intuitive. If but I also would love to hear your feedback on it. And if you have any ideas on how this can be improved, please add them in the comments. And if you have any questions how I do did this or any ideas for future topics, please share those with me. Thanks for listening, and I hope you guys have a wonderful night. Thanks.